Hello everybody, it's Mike Les, and today, February 22nd, I am at Schmidt Machine Company in Upper Sandusky, Ohio. And during my visit here, they was getting in a new Versatile 450 coming from the factory in Winnipeg. I thought I'd make a little video of it coming in on the trailer and unloading of the tractor and talk about the tractor a little bit. The trip from Winnipeg to Upper Sandusky, Ohio is about 1130 miles, so it took the guy a day and a half or approximately two days to get the tractor here. The Versatile 450 is the smallest of the HHT or high horsepower tractors made by Versatile. These tractors weigh enough that the duels for these are commonly shipped separate from the tractor. Uh, somewhere in this video in the background you may already see the duels they had come in uh, prior to the delivery of the tractor here. But right now, uh, normally they would just detach a trailer and drive it off, but they have a loading dock here. They can just back it right up to and drive the tractor right off the trailer. And the Versatile 450 is powered by a Cummins QSX 15 liter engine, uh, which is 450 horsepower with a peak horsepower rating of 500 horsepower. This is also has an interim tier 4 motor. And this tractor here is offered with either a 12x4 synchro transmission or a CAT TA22 16 speed 16x4 power shift transmission, which this tractor here does have. This tractor also has a power takeoff on it that was installed from the factory. This is an option and can be added in the field later if necessary. Also, you can add a three-point hitch to this tractor, factory or field installed. The Versatile 450 has uh, two fuel tanks, one on each side of the tractor, capable of holding up to 400 gallons of diesel fuel. This tractor also comes with a couple hydraulic options, uh, four or six remotes. Standard is 53 gallon per minute hydraulic flow, and you can also add an optional high flow kit capable of 106 gallons per minute. There you can see the dual wheels in the background of the tractor. I had to cut the noise of the tractor out so we can't hear the engine run due to high winds today, and it was uh, interrupting the video. Thanks for watching my video and stay tuned for more farm equipment videos in the future.